Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of you listeners out there, to all of the future millionaires with goals and dreams and hopes. We have a guest with us today by the name of Caden, Caden McElwin. I want to welcome him to the show. Caden is an autistic college student, writer, and activist who was able to defy all odds and inspire people and continues to inspire people. His goal now is to help raise awareness about autism and help clear the stigma surrounding special needs. Caden, I'd like to welcome you to our show today. Thank you for being a Millionaire by Morning guest. Thanks for having me, Rasad. Not a problem, man. I, um, I'm really interested in hearing about your story. I'm really interested in hearing about your, um, you know, being an advocate, your activism, um, and also a little bit about you being an athlete yourself. So I guess we all can start from the beginning. And I know in your biography, it says that you were diagnosed with autism at the age of two. Can you, can you take us back to like your first memory of when it all began to sink in? Mm. Mm, uh, I don't really have any memories of when I was two years old. I doubt anyone does. Maybe glimpses. Uh, but uh, the day it all sunk in was, I believe, when I was seven years old, start, just starting to talk. I was told I had autism. And I had to go to a special needs school for some time. Then in first grade, my parents decided to mainstream me. You said seventh grade. That's um, so we're looking at early, early elementary. Um, during that time at a special needs school, even though you heard the word autism, did you think it was anything different, you know, about the kids you were in school with or yourself or were you just um, going about, you know, your life as a as a as a everyday daily kid, just having fun with the rest of them? Hmm. Uh, I was just going about my day to day life. And then, like I said, I was mainstreamed in first grade grade and I was put so hard by my parents to the point where I'm a success. I'll forever be grateful for them for that. Oh, but uh, uh, when I was a teenager, uh, I denied having autism and being and didn't really embrace it, if that makes sense, just because I thought it was a curse. But when I got older, as soon as I entered college, when I was 18, about around this time last year, er, I looked into it more and I learned that some of the most famous people we're on the spectrum. Albert Einstein, Frederick Nietzsche, uh, the creator of Pokemon, uh, Emily Dickinson, uh, again, Robin Williams, you know, so Tim Burton, Isaac Newton. Yep. Yep. You are, you are correct about that. I actually have a grandson that's on the spectrum. I had to do some research myself. Um, and, and, and it is, uh, you know, it, it is a pleasure being around something that you really have to understand because we think we understand everything just growing up. Uh, but when it's something that, you know, you really have to wrap your arms around and your mind around and kind of understand it and study it, you know, it is a, a point of advocacy. Um, so, yeah, I could definitely see. Um, and stand in the same, you know, kind of shoes as people who are advocates uh, for autism. As far as you now being in college, how, how was that transition? Hmm. That's a good, good question. First one year, it was tough. Uh, I was scared that I wouldn't be able to do this, uh, but... Um, the more I got into it, the more I started to love it. There's always something going on on campus. So I attended a lot of events and I mainly tried to focus on my academics uh, and actually ended up getting straight A's and their Rising Star Award my freshman year. Uh, but uh, the only thing I really struggled with was social stuff, like understanding facial cues, making friends, getting a girlfriend, that kind of thing. Right, right. 
Got it, man. Um, and you know, just like everything else, that 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 comes. That's just a part of it. Uh, as far as your athleticism, what 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 exactly do you do? Tell the listeners what you do. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't re really run anymore. Or, but when I was in high school, I was part of uh, the Seagull High Stars, uh, which is a cross country team. And during my time, uh, we made it into state twice. And I ended up getting in the paper because I did some advocacy work for a class project yeah, that a class of mine was doing and was able to get the cross country team involved. I was actually planning to return for a third and fourth year, but then, of course, COVID hit and everything fell apart from there. Right, right. Um, so, so as far as far as your advocacy and um, the things that you're doing for autism awareness, tell us about that. What are you involved in at the moment? Mm, absolutely. So the advocacy started in college, freshman year in 2022, as part of a class project for my leadership class from when I was at Lake Erie College. Oh, it's, uh, I'm at Kent now. Uh, the assignment was, was to uh, think of a way to help the community and act upon it. I took it a step further and decided to help the world in the autism community. So with my group, we set up a GoFundMe for the Autism Society of America with the goal of $1,000. We had 1085 And from there, the advocacy work just grew. Uh, last year, I gave speech to at two Lake County treasurer's meetings, uh, raised uh, over $200 for the Lake County Special Needs Club, which is a really great organization. And, uh, I raised that during my birthday, and uh, I he was able to help four families in the county who have special needs children and have a great Christmas in my county through the efforts of planning a toy drive for them. Uh, right now, I'm currently planning a basket raffle fund raiser for Autism Awareness Month in my county, and I'm planning a voting event uh, for June 21st. Okay, okay, man, you have a lot going on. That's that's the that's the uh, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's the basis of this show is just to 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 do what you are positioned to do. Um, so yeah, I commend you on that. Is there a link? Do you, um, I know that there are a bunch of different, you know, advocate companies, nonprofits. Do you work with particular ones? Do you have, um, your, your own affiliate link with those? And I'm asking, so if you do, maybe I could put it in your, your notes on this show and, um, someone could donate maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any affiliate links with any organizations. I just have a friend who helps me with these. My count, the treasurer of my county, named Michael Zerker, and we kind of work these things at, out as we go along. But uh, after this, I'm envy. I'm planning on contacting uh, a journalist in my area who constantly covers my F and to see if he wants to do a story on this. So so I might have that at him. But he, yeah, no affiliate links. I'm not affiliated with any organizations. And I just like doing these things on my own. Eventually, I do want to partner with some organizations. Got it. Got it. Excellent, man. Excellent answer. Um, so for people out there, if you could, if you could send a message, um, you know, if you could send a message to anyone that because you are an advocate to bring awareness to what it is that you're doing to bring awareness to autism, what would you like to say to any of the listeners out there? Uh, absolutely. I'd say people with autism need to be acknowledged more. Uh, we have all this money. We have all this stuff in the government, uh, but we still don't put it towards autism and things that are positive instead. We put it towards TikTok bans, uh, P-Hub bans, uh, all. We put it towards very petty th things, uh, book ban bans, uh, furry ba bans. Uh, in Oklahoma, 
Ma, you should be using that money to help those with autism get what they need so they can function as a human being in the United States of America. People with disabilities absolutely need to be acknowledged more. I 100% agree. I 100% agree with that statement. And um, <clears throat> in all actuality, if um, there's anyone listening, I can make a pledge that I agree with that and I'm willing to get on any movement that, that requires awareness, to bring awareness for that cause. Kaden, I'd like to thank you for coming on the show today. I don't want to keep you long. Um, like to keep these interviews short and sweet. And I do believe that you got your message across. I think we were able to meet Kaden for who he is and what you have to offer. If there's anything else that you would like to say or tell us anything that uh, you have going on in the near future, um, we'd be glad to hear it. All right. Thanks for having me, Rasad. All right, man. Well, you keep up the good work and keep bringing awareness. And I'll be one that's following you for sure. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a great afternoon. Thanks. You as well. Bye now. From mastering the art of saving to harnessing the power of investments, we cover it all. But it's not just about the money. It's about cultivating a millionaire mindset that propels you towards success in every aspect of your life. Join our community of ambitious go-getters and discover the secrets to becoming a millionaire by morning. Subscribe now to Millionaire by Morning on your favorite podcast platform. And let's make your financial dreams a reality. Millionaire by Morning, where money mindset, motivation, and mastery meet. Subscribe today and unlock your path to prosperity.